I'm going to a fashion show today. I should say tonight. And I've never been to one before. This will be my first. I had no idea what I was gonna wear. I called my mom, I talked to her on the phone today. We had a really great chat. And she came up with the cutest outfit because she knows my closet pretty well. And I'm really grateful that I still have the opportunity to like do that stuff with my mom, you know? I was like, oh, it kind of feels like, almost like you're getting me dressed for a first day of school. Which, the outfit she came up with was super cute. I'm hoping that it all works out because I have about 30 minutes before I have to leave for this. So, uh, I would just chat and do a vlog while I'm getting ready. I went to get matched for new foundation yesterday. I didn't know that Makeup Forever has a pro store in New York, which is pretty cool. Uh, I had originally gone to Sephora because I need new foundation. I just felt like it was off in previous videos. I was looking at myself going like, hmm, I don't think my face is that color anymore. So I went to go get new foundation and they did match me to a different color. So I'm now, let's see, Y523. And I am just a, a makeup forever early because I love full coverage. Like I, sorry to the youths, like you're just gonna have to pry full coverage from my cold, gripping hands. Because I love it. I have always loved full coverage started off as a MAC girl when I really first started getting into makeup in college because when I was younger I wasn't allowed to wear makeup. My dad didn't let me wear makeup. When I was in high school I lived with my dad. Um, my mom had lived in Southern California and I lived in Northern California with my dad and he did not let me wear makeup unless it was for cheer, because we had to, <laughs> or I was going to something like a dance, such as junior prom, homecoming. So I actually didn't really start wearing makeup until I got into college. And I mean, to be fair, like I still pretty much don't know what I'm doing, but you know, here we are. Uh, just rolling with the punches. Still figuring it out as I go. To be honest, I'm definitely a girly who watches a lot of other YouTubers and people on the clock app for tips and tricks. Because again, I don't know what I'm doing. I am not above going to a class either and having someone like tell me, oh, like honey, no, no do this instead, because again, this is not my full-time job, like I'm not a full-time makeup artist, there's all kinds of stuff I don't know, like that I should probably be doing, or like changing techniques, or brushes, so I'm fine with someone telling me, oh sweetheart, try this instead. This is the color that they gave me, and like she matched me to it, so I don't know what's going on, but here we are, this is what it looks like, hopefully like as it dries, because you know, when foundation dries, it can change colors, plus I'm about to put on concealer and powder and all kinds of other things, so we'll just see how that goes. But I only have like 30 minutes, and I, again, I'm going to a fashion show, like I cannot be looking a mess. Makeup forever, concealer girl. And instead of like swabbing under the eye, I tap, like this, and then across my face, like where I want it. That lets me control how much goes on my face and where it goes. And you know what? Let me put powder on my forehead so it, it doesn't crease. And we're back. Yeah, so I grew up in Northern California and my dad didn't let me wear makeup. So I have relied on kind people, like friends, uh, going to lessons, watching a lot of videos on the internet, because yep, I definitely did not know what I was doing as I've gotten older. I think I spent so much of my first few years living in the Bay Area, just like at home because I didn't have a ton of friends and just like, it's honestly like pretty depressed. And just watching 
tutorials on YouTube and trying to figure out how to better at doing my makeup because I wanted to feel pretty, I wanted to feel good when I left the house, or at least feel better when I left the house, and I thought maybe if I got better at doing my makeup that would help me feel good, you know? Good old patriarchy because I also wasn't in therapy yet, which we all know I am team therapy. I'm doing so much concealer right now, again, event, going out, I look good. I am definitely baking. You're gonna bake. Uh, and I'm gonna bake with, you can't see it, it's the like kimchi chic powder. I love it, personally. I think it does a great job at what I need to do. So, uh, do a whole bunch of that on my eye right now. This, so in 20, let's see, this would have been like 20, 14, 15, 16. I spent a lot of time. A lot, a lot, a lot of time. Just like watching YouTube videos of people doing makeup. A lot of issues with self confidence for me that I needed to work through. Still working through those because I am like everyone else and they work in progress. What I'm also realizing is I need to update my next appointment with my waxer and have her do my eyebrows because they have some strays that I am sure I could pluck. But being the auntie that I am and of the generation who over plucked their eyebrows and has something that has grown back in the last, you know, like 10 years, uh, really not a fan of me touching my eyebrows anymore. I also never did like microblading because well, I was too poor. But from what I've seen recently, I'm kind of glad I was too poor. A night's event and like fashion show has a theme of express yourself, which I am super into. And I can't wait to see what other people are wearing, especially the real fashion girlies. And or I should say he, she's, gays and they's because I am confident that this is going to be an event with people all across the spectrum. And I can't wait because I love seeing people who are really into fashion, like Bronwyn on this season of Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, because I think it's so unique. It's a way to allow people to express themselves and to show themselves through clothes. And fashion is art at the end, and I love art. Now, do I always understand it? No. And that's by letting someone wear clothes, like it's not hurting anyone by them being able to wear most things. Now, we all know that there are shirts and slogans and things that are actually harmful, but for the most part, going to a fashion show is not a place where I'm expecting to see some of that behavior. Going off camera because I'm gonna be looking straight at this while I flip flip my eyes. I do want to get there and like have at least one drink and do a little networking before the show starts. So the show starts at 7.45 and the doors open at 6.30. So my goal is to leave here in 20 minutes. I mean, I gotta hurry up and move along here. Okay, now I'm gonna do the rest of my face with some Connor. I put way too much on that. And being invited to this is pretty cool. Like I'm not gonna lie, I feel really, excited that I am slowly making it through my creator journey because I'm still technically like a baby creator at this point. Like I'm a little micro creator over on the platforms and I'm doing everything I can, you know, to like build my community and also find my niche, like what's working. Part of the reason why I'm doing Vlogtober. Get me into the habit of just constantly creating. So I started off on the clock app of posting every day, twice a day for a month. Then got some learnings. Uh, and we kind of made some adjustments there and over on Instagram. And then I started really doing a lot more on Pinterest and I've found a really good rhythm between Pinterest and LTK. Now my goal is to figure out what's working when I do consistent YouTube content so I can take all of it together and understand 
how to make things work for every platform and so I'm not having to like shoot differently so I can really understand my audience on every platform. It's hard, it's a lot of work, but this is all to hopefully set me up for success in tomorrow, best case scenario, but long term. Next time we do some eyes, I think I'm gonna have to turn this off so I can really focus on that. I used my little Dior kind of like nudes palette and it's the, let's see, it says nude essentials one. So I just use that to just kind of do some of my eye makeup. Now I gotta do eyeliner. Don't worry kids, I'm not gonna do a full bottom eyeliner. Whatever, I'll try it tonight. I have like 15 minutes, it's supposed to be morning. Not great, and I'll be walking in heels, so like, uh-oh. Oh yeah, this is my, what does it say? Watch me blush palette, which I probably should replace, but. Okay, watch me blush palette. Yeah, we're gonna do a little contour because it's gonna make my look I want my, my cheekbones to stand up just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I make blush contour, girl. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, like you can see, this is the one that I obviously use all the time. So, a sign that I don't need the whole thing, cause like, but I do touch the other colors at times. I just don't use them as frequently. Um, it is a fashion show. So I think I'm gonna go red. Okay, we're gonna use the like red. The outfit my mom picked is this white dress that I have that I hear she's probably like seen photos of me in it and like I've worn it a few other times places. Um, so she said I should wear that. I'm gonna have to put my like cutouts in too. Holy forgot about that. I'm gonna like move faster. I don't remember that. She told me to wear that with some like knee high boots which I think I have uh, some that I can wear. I'm not sure because I might have gotten rid of them because I'm pretty sure they hurt my feet. So we'll see. She said I should wear that. And then put part of my hair in like a half ponytail of sorts and wear some dangly earrings. So I'm gonna really try to make that work because I love that my mom like had such a good grasp of my closet and came up with a cute outfit. I'm gonna wear that with my leather jacket because it's fall. It's chilly outside. Last thing is I need to do setting spray and mascara. Yay! Okay, this is our final makeup look. And now I'm brushing this wig hair so I can try and put it up. I'm supposed to leave in, oh, five minutes. Oh, lordy Jesus. Okay, I will see you guys in the Okay, this is the full outfit, which I you know it's hard to see, but I don't have a ring light around me right now. So I'm wearing this white dress that has a cute cutout. I'm gonna move the camera down real fast. It's like it has this slit right here and I'm wearing it with these like knee high boots. And I have my boombas in so that the girls, they're up and they look good. I'm just gonna add some dangly earrings and I'm off. I'm only five minutes behind schedule. Yay.